up. This is the man that you all know and love, E. Digger. And you're listening to the Charm City Direct Radio Show right here on the station where music must be played loud. He's trying to say loud. Yeah, I did a right. With the help of us. Nah, easy. They still got the job, man. Okay. Collectively, they can do it. We'll step in when you need to take a break. Yeah. He ain't gonna take a break. Does he? <laughs> I know Mike. <laughs> there ain't no break. <laughs> Live in the studio. She feed my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> please, She's... please do not feed his ego whatsoever <laughs> with the shirts. <laughs> Cats and the hoodies. Shout out to my man Chaz, by the way, who provided. Oh, don't eat peppermint and talk at the same time. <laughs> yes. Um, my man Chaz, who turned it around? Did you turn my hoodie around? <laughs> no, for real? No, and, I and you took the other one down? No, I did Sabotage. <laughs> when he walked in with the Twizzlers, he did. How dare you? No, I did Mike, come on, man. <laughs> and you know what? Since we, we talking about sabotage, what is up? with all the cords on my side of the station. <laughs> I really think y'all trying to kill me. What, what cords? All of these, like I got the phone cord, I got, well, this is my cord right here. Um, the sound cord, the laptop cord, all that, everything is on my side, you, Jerry. You know what? Blame it on Jerry. Blame it on Jerry. It's you too, because no. this monitor can tip over and hit me in my head. That's a negative. <laughs> Play it on Jer. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Why you putting a U in Jer? I call him Jerry. J, J E R R Y, I'm, right? Look, I'm from Baltimore. Play it on Jer. 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 Right. <laughs> I'm still mad because you turned my. Oh, okay. You turned it back around. Did you do that? I did. You should have. You know what you should have yes. did? Yes. You know what you should have did? If you would have got. A wide hanger oh instead of getting the hanger from oh Dallow, oh we would not have that oh issue. Hold up, but hold up, though. Mommy dearest, remember that? No more wire hangers. <laughs> hold up, though. That was the hanger that Jerry put on the hoodie. I told you, blame it on Jerry. Blame it on Jerry. <laughs> Get all I'm the mad. charges. I'm mad Everything. because he put a U in him. Everything is death. It's because it's Jerry's fault. You ain't gonna take that art. Yes, he is. And he gonna film it, and he gonna like it. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Jer. Go, Jer. Yeah. That's right, Jer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Nicole, you, you have a huge event that's coming up. Yes, yeah, March the 8th. We're excited. I know, that's right. Yes. So, to talk a little bit about that. Life-changing. Uh -huh. It's gonna be life-changing. It's gonna be empowerment, inspiration. <laughs> Chime in, ladies. Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's, gonna right. awesome. it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. And and I'm gonna be there. The man that you all know and love, E Digger, will be there, capturing all of the people that come out. I, I said it on the porch. I said I'm gonna just walk up to you. Look, heard you like the show. People yes. just gonna run away. <laughs> yes. We're excited because this time we're gonna. Um, we're having everyone come together. The cast from South Carolina. Shout out to wow. you guys. Much love. Yeah, shout out and to then you. it would be the first time all of us coming together. So okay. it's going to be a great experience for us also. Wow. Yep. Delisa can chime in on the address. <laughs> Catching it. <laughs> right. Uh, 1400 Exeter Hall at Cold Stream Elementary School. Cool. Cool. And the time. March 8th. March 8th. Uh, 4 o'clock. 4 p.m. Saturday, March 8th. Tickets only $12. You can purchase your tickets at the door. Okay. Promise you would not regret paying $12 for that ticket. It's going to be life changing for you. Life changing. Get the ticket. Get the ticket. Get the ticket. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> get the ticket. Get the ticket. How can people get tickets? They can pay, we're paying at the door. They oh, can pay okay. at the door. Okay, cool, cool. We are joined by Miss Verne. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and she <laughs> sounds like me. Yeah. Hi. Uh, you want, I, I, got, I got some tea. 
You brought down Twizzlers and ain't off for nobody. nobody. I got uh, mints. At least I offer people a mint. Anybody want a mint? Um, and a mint. <laughs> I offer people mints bit. and water. Well, you know what? You, you know down. the rules about Twizzlers, right? What's the rule with you? You don't share no twisters with nobody. <laughs> no, this is your rule. You bring that. You saw him when he came down the steps. Like, <laughs> and I'm fat. Yes, I'm going to eat all my twisters too. Did, did y'all hear him chill? <laughs> That's right. All in the. Why you ain't get nobody now, man? Oh, I got I some. gave somebody some. Yeah, oh, Bernay. You gave Bernay. Because she asked for it. Too. Nicole wanted to twist a little. And she didn't ask for it. <laughs> and then I offered my eggs. And then I offered say, anybody wants something like that? You ain't off my eggs. I, 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 I didn't give a twist excuse me, is that because I'm an introvert? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a twist And now they're gone, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. I'm out. Now! Can I take a go? That music must be played. See the way my bank account is set up with my twisters. Oh my goodness. Bernie, when I was going around the room, I was getting each story. So now that you're here, I want to hear your story and how you can't hurt me no more. Change that for you. I met Nicole at my job, um, working for the state. Um, we always got along very well, and she told me about her movement, and I was definitely impressed by it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a passionate person about anything, my feelings, my family, and I do enjoy writing myself. So mm -hmm. we definitely had that in common. I'm surprised about that. I didn't know that until actually she had asked me to be a part. And, again, I'm a passionate person, and it's definitely for a good cause. I definitely love giving back um, as far as, you know, you, that you can't hurt me no more for me is, it's a process, you know. You you, you know your pain, you, and sometimes that's still not enough. You gotta, you know, keep moving. You got what you wanna do with it. Once you recognize it, and sometimes you just don't know the how, like how to move on from that. But um, I I couldn't I couldn't say no to Nicole. This is definitely good for me. So good outlet. I, you know, it taught me sisterhood, unity. So I love it. It's something I love to do. That's that's great. That's yeah. great. How long has you can't hurt me no more than a brown. I started You Can't Hurt Me No More since 2010. Okay. And during that time, I just started writing whatever God whispered into my heart and my spirit. And I just began writing poetry. Okay. Never thought that I would have women to join with me and men to come and you know be willing to quote and to help me further along the vision that God gave me. So it's been around since 2012. Wow. Wow. I started working in 2010, so that's what's up. Okay. Yeah. And everyone here pretty much kind of came in along that time. Um. Yeah, because... I did. Yeah, okay. Delisa did first, and then I got with Brene, and like Brandy said, Brandy was supposed to be the cook, actually. <laughs> 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 it was chicken. funny it was because we all, it, 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 I mean, it was crazy because Delisa set up this meeting. So we all met, me, Brene, Delisa, and Brandy. So Brandy was just there for the cook. Okay. And so as she sat there and listened, you know, Brandy was like, hey. <laughs> and, you know, she said, I like it. I want to I wanna be a part of it. And I'm like, sure. So we all came together, you know, and it was like, the people that God has given me, there's no way I could have done this alone. Brandy, Delisa, Vernay, and the entire cast in South Carolina, but most of all, my children. Okay. Because my children were my first audience. Okay. I would rehearse in front of my children. I would say, come here, you know, how does this sound? And they would be like, Mom, where'd you get this from? And I was like, I wrote it, you know, I was like, God just gave it to me. So, you know, it's amazing how God would put people in your path to help carry your vision. And I'm grateful for them. I'm, I'm grateful for them because we, we form a sisterhood. And you know, and we can be open with each other, so I'm thankful for them. Great, great. Question. If You Can't Hurt Me No More was not around, what would you guys be doing? What? Mm. And it is this for every one of you, whoever want to answer first. I think I would definitely be in my, still in the community trying to reach back to, I, I went to public schools. 
I went to Robert W. Coleman, Warwick Singer High School. That school now is closed. I walk, you know, I probably reach back to the community. I love, you know, my area is the fact that I have a degree from, I, I, I guess coming from the city and I, I pretty much utilized what was around me. I didn't let the negative get me down. So I would probably be still in the community trying to reach back to the schools that I graduated from. Okay. So that's probably what I'd be doing. You, Um. Well, in addition to You Can't Hurt Me No More, like I said, I'm also a blogger and I write, I do write poetry, I write short stories. Um, so I would most likely still be doing that. Okay. Um, probably wouldn't be doing it to the level that I am now because again, like I said, it gave me a voice to really speak out and not be ashamed to talk about the things that are uncomfortable, the things that hurt, the things that you need to gain freedom from. But I mean, I'm always about encouragement, empowerment. For people, that's what I do, you know, okay. all the time. Because people do that for me. You, you said you're a blogger. Yes. What, what type of things that you blog about? I'm a lifestyle blogger, so okay. I blog a lot about my life being a single parent, um, the challenges that you face being a single parent, the challenges okay. that you face being a single woman. Okay. Um, so I talk a lot about that. Um, a, a variety of topics. I, like I said, I write short stories. I write mm -hmm. a lot about abuse. Mm -hmm. um, children who've been abused, women who've been abused. I talk about things that I can relate to, um, things that I've seen growing up, things, some things I've been through myself, and I just share that. Um, I'll just I'll explore any topic, and I like to create dialogue. Like mm -hmm. I said, I like to talk about things that are uncomfortable um, because I do believe that we can't change things until we talk about the uncomfortable things. True. You also, Nicole, do something uh, with the homeless. Um, wh what is that? Talk about that. It's not actually, um, it's not you can't hurt me no more. We just help out. Um, oh, okay. Right. And we just helping out. His name is. Um, it's Tara Cafe. Tara oh, Cafe. Okay. Yes. It's Tara from Tara, Tara Cafe. Yeah. Shout out to Tara Cafe. So he, he does yeah. um, Neighbors Without Walls, and he does mm -hmm. that. Um, I think what is it the third the second the second Sunday, Sunday every month. of every month and um you know Terrence we started Dixon. doing that yeah. and once we started doing that it was just we really enjoyed that yeah okay so we just because we're I remember, supporting him I remember I said when I just didn't know when mm -hmm. you had that I would love to participate if if I can yes um, oh yeah he yes. I mean he's very open to anybody who would you know who who's willing to come out and help do okay. that. Yeah. Life changing. No, Very that's right. definitely life changing. Life changing. That was yeah. really life changing for me. Yes, yes. definitely. Because wow. like like um, Don Well said, you had, we all are check away from it. So exactly. So <laughs> yeah. and that's exactly. the real. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, we're just grateful to him that he opened his doors up, you know, to let us come in and just help and be a support to him. Okay. So actually, the next one is the Sunday after the You Can't Hurt Me No More show. And I'll be there. So we're going to be there. That is oh, no, the, the ninth. That's the ninth, yeah. The ninth. Okay. Wait, around what time? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay. I'm, we will, I will keep think, you posted because right. we Facebook and read I, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I see the pictures. I see how you guys, it, you know, everybody looks so happy. Um, and I was like, wow. So this is something outside. Of right. This is Terrence Dix at Terra Cafe. This is his. What is it? Um, without walls, right? Neighbors without, Neighbors without walls. walls. We're just coming and just helping him. This is his vision. We're just being a support to him. Okay. That's great. Any other outside uh, commitments I should say? Not at no. this time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're definitely looking forward to some new things yes. and opportunities as far as, again, reaching out into the community. So I definitely want to do the schools in, in my neighborhood and area. So, yeah, we want, we, that's what we're working on, actually. Okay. This next question is for everyone. Uh, since this is Black History Month, name uh, some famous Black Americans or African Americans that uh, pretty much uh, inspire you by their contributions to history. Mine anyway. would be Maya Angelou, okay. straight off the yeah. top. I just wrote about her on my blog, um, just the things that she's been through. She's been a prostitute. She's been, Whoa. oh yeah. Whoa. She's been a prostitute. She's been, uh, she's been on drugs. She's been homeless. She's, I mean, her, her story is so, that poem, Phenomenal Woman, mm -hmm. It, it, it's just, it doesn't even crack the surface of who she is. 
and um, you know she's an activist she's an ag advocate um, she's a motivational speaker she is um, a uh, author. She's an actor. She's just so multifaceted and um, she has given back so much to the world um, and the black race, you know, period. But she's not only that, she's given to the world. Okay. Um, so, I mean, she, yeah, she does it for me. Oh, wow. Maya Angelo, Angela Davis. I don't think I say nothing. Angela Davis. And that's just a touch on something. When I grew up, that's who I looked up to. I wanted to be an activist and things. I wasn't, you know, really into, you know, the, you know, TV. And, but I, I, I like the, the Black History, English, reading. That was my thing. So I'm just going to say Angela Davis, you know, Maya Angelo. I don't have to say, you know, we can name a lot of them, but I'm done. I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have to say Maya Angelou also. Okay. Um, with Phenomenal Woman, I was like, that's awesome. You know, she wrote that poem, and, and it's like when I began to read it, it was like, wow, you know, she speaks to every woman, you know, and I was like, she's talking to the woman inside of me. So definitely Maya Angelou. And I, I mean, I said the thing about her being a prostitute because when you hear prostitute, you don't think Maya Angelou. No. And you don't even you don't think anything positive can resonate with a prostitute, but that just goes she's an overcomer. She overcame that. Mm -hmm. Um Harriet Tumit, her her strength. Yeah. You know, women are supposed to be strong, you know, so we can we can go on that's that enough, that's another show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I learned something new like every day. I did not know she was a prostitute. Wow. Wow, that's deep. That's deep. Um What's next for you and your organization? Where, where do you see your organization in the next five years? I'm a dreamer, so just excuse me while I dream. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, I mean, seriously, I really see us at a level to where we're truly giving back 100% more. Mm -hmm. I mean, I see us acting, I see us on Broadway, mm -hmm. I see us opening up homes for single mothers and, and, and mothers that, you know, that, that that's coming from drug addiction. I mean, I see us really opening up a, a, a recreational center, you know, to help it at the school kids. Mm -hmm. There's so much that I see that you can't hurt me no more, you know, just taking it to a different level than just poetry and just being inside the walls, just reaching out and giving back. And that's what I see. I'm a dreamer. I have a vision board, you know, with everything that what God has placed in me you know and there's something about when you create a vision board and you look at it every single day and you're blown away by it and you know as you know anything is possible with yes. God everything yeah. is possible Amen. Amen. you know what I'm saying so yes. when I start to dream it's like I see way down the line and I see that for us no I see that for us you know and I see everybody here that's talent like Brandy, Brandy opening up her own soul food restaurant. You know, she can be feeding the homeless when you can't hurt me no more. Delisa, yes. a blogger, Renee likes to write. So yes. when I dream, I dream for everybody, not just myself, because we're all in this together. Yes. But I see you can't hurt me no more. So, so you know, a blessing to so many people. And like I said, the main thing I want to do, I want to open up a home. Okay. I want to open up a home for the homeless. So they can come in and give them like, you know, six months to where we can, you know, Delisa does hair. You do their hair, do their nails, you know, education wise. <laughs> you can do their hair. You just <laughs> <right>. you <know? laughs> But you know, I mean, just put them in an atmosphere. Put them in an atmosphere yes. to help them function in the outside world. Did you know that was coming? No. I, I, I can do hair. I don't do hair. I don't do hair. Don't I work do in health care. I don't do hair, but I can do she hair. She can do hair. But on a level like that, I would, oh, I would definitely give my time. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's great. I just shared with them my dreams. Um, vision board. Um, someone was talking to me uh, last week about a vision board. Oh. Just just putting it up and yeah. putting your visions, your, your, your yes. dreams, your goals, all of that on this board. And, and you know, it keeps you encouraged when you walk past it. It, wow. it keeps you encouraged. On my refrigerator, my kids see I have a list of things, you know, and every time they walk by, they see it. Because it keeps you encouraged. Yes. It does. It does. Four four three four seven five zero zero seven three is the number. Call in. We had a caller, but I did not. 
I did not call in. I didn't accept the call. So let's do this. Let's try to get you back. Um, now, answer the phone when I call you. <laughs> and we have a call coming in. 